here is my access form I've added in a search box here as we did before and what I would like to do now is add in some buttons here as well we have our navigation buttons down the bottom here and I can move between the records I can also add a new record here just by clicking on that button there but sometimes it's easier to have bigger buttons say up here in the form header you might want to do that because it'll be easier to click on and also you might actually find that other people are using the database they've never really used access before they're not familiar with these buttons so we can actually create buttons that make it a lot easier so I'm going to add in initially just two very quick buttons here to add and delete records and then I'm actually going to put in some additional navigation buttons here a lot of this is all done through a wizard and I can just click on my design view here which takes me into my form design here is my toolbox you can see here is my form header there's the combo box that I added and what I'm going to do is just click on this command button here I need to make sure that that control wizard is switched on you can tell it's switched on that's off that's on because what it's going to do is start the wizard that will create this button so I'm just going to click there I'm going to click anywhere here and I'm going to get my command button wizard will appear and you'll see it's got categories down here for record navigation so moving to the next record last record previous record there's record operations add delete duplicate print save and undo form operations applying filters closing forms and so on and there's a number of them down here and we can explore them a bit later on there's a number of others here and we can explore those in other tutorials for now I want to go to record operations it's add new record that I want I'm just going to click on next and I can choose to have a picture on the button and there are some standard pictures suitable for indicating that you're adding a new record I could click on show all pictures and it will show me every single one it's got that it could apply to a button although some of these may not indicate what you actually want to do so I could use one of these or I could get the button to actually just say add record on it or whatever text I want so I could change that to add new by doing that if someone new comes to the database and needs to enter information in they're going to look at that they're going to know exactly what to do in fact let's make it add a friend click on next we can give this a name and it's not something that you generally see but it's used mainly for sorting out the tab order and perhaps later if you need to adjust things such as the programming that goes behind this button so I'm going to call it command CMD for short that's pretty standard add, add friend if I click on finish you'll see it's popped that button here I can change the size of it so I can make it taller as well so I can pop that there I can now add another button I'm going to do one for delete I'm just going to do that very quickly and you'll see how quick it is to do this so I click on command button I pop that in I'm going to put it right next to it let me just move that across it's a record operation again delete record click on next once again I get pictures I'm going to choose delete I'm going to just say delete there hit next call it command delete and hit finish there's my button it's not the same as this one we're going to adjust that in just a moment but just so that I can see it if I click on my view here to view the form if I add a friend I can pop that in okay um, if I was to save that by just moving backwards and forwards I could then press delete and just as I would normally it's going to prompt me to say do I want to delete this and if I say yes it's gone I've gone there okay so I'm just going to line these up properly there are some tools for doing that I'm going to highlight them just by clicking and dragging like drawing a line through them they're both now selected I'm now going to go into format choose a line I'm going to align both of them to the top so it's going to align it to the top of add friend because that's the highest one there 
I want to make them the same width and I want to make them the same height and I'm going to make it so the same height as add friend which is the widest of these two. This is also the tallest of these two so I'm going to do that too. So again I'm going to go to format, size to tallest and you'll see delete is now the same height as add friend. I'm going to go back to format, size and to widest so it's going to make them both equally wide and if I press save and go back to my form view you'll see both of those in there now look the same. Very quickly I'm just going to add in the navigation buttons. I'm just going to add in one so that you can see how it's done again. Choose command button, click here and I get my command button wizard again. I'm just going to click on go to next, hit next. Now these buttons are a little bit more obvious sort of indicating they're moving along and making these ones down the bottom here a little bit redundant. They still work. You can get rid of that navigation bar and leave those there. But you can see that does make it a little bit more obvious so people aren't looking around where is that button. So that is adding buttons to an access form. Press save and I've got some extra buttons on here and I can add a few more in.